staff retention. How do you retain staff from an HR perspective? How, how do you keep somebody who's been with you for 10 years motivated to retain them enough to still serve you for another 10 years? Hetty, that's a, that's, a, that's a vitally important question from a small business perspective. If we could backtrack, uh, if I may, I'd like to suggest that attraction and, and retention, retention are very, very uh, tough questions and very tough issues from a human resources perspective for small business to deal with and cope with. The point is, when you wanting to attract somebody a small business, you need to realize that you're fishing from the same pond mm -hmm. as big business is fishing. Yes, very true. The war for talent is literally a war because when you're wanting people to join your organization, you need to have some value proposition to attract them into your organization. Again, you don't have the same kind of budgetary um, issues as a, a big business would have. They have money which uh, is at their disposal to be able to attract and to have um, pretty generous and uh, elaborate recruitment campaigns. They can pay salaries that obviously a small business cannot because they don't have the same kind of uh, uh, budget allowance and uh, budget allocation for that. So attraction is definitely a problem. From a retention perspective, Anderson Consulting did a study in many different countries in 2006, some of which were the United States, Germany and Spain. And what they, what they found out is that 58%, believe it or not, of mid-management were looking for other jobs. Oh, wow. 58%. <laughs> that's not a mistake. Wow. And these are the very people that are supposed to be motivating yes. those that report into them. So retention is an issue. Just some other figures and statistics that you might have interest in is staff turnover. In other words, the rate by which staff leave the organization. Typically within big business, unless it's a technology environment, you would probably expect to see staff turnover rates of around 4%. Within a small business, however, the rate of staff turnover is around 15 to 17%. So it's a lot higher. Yeah. It speaks to the kinds of things that you were talking of in terms of retention. How do you keep your staff within small business? What are you, what are you doing to keep them? You don't have necessarily the same ability and the same capacity to retain staff through a sound value proposition that says we will pay truckloads full of money towards your continuous professional development as an example. So from that perspective I think you need to think very carefully within a small business context about what is our employee value proposition. In other words, differently put, what would a typically a typical employee within our organization do? Mm. Why would they stay with us? Why would they join us? And if you don't have a clear vision about that, I think you're going to have some difficulty and challenge in relation to retaining your, uh, your staff members.